pasa paro? Yo. Sí. O al ley. O oh, no, no me importa. <risa> Tengo que pasar el barro a esta gente acá. ¿Quién quiere? Espérese. Um, más agua aquí en la pared. Ajá, Estoy aprendiendo mucho español, ¿eh? Sí. Ya. ¿Qué pasa, Vene? Se queda veniendo mirando. Sí. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Sí. Les escucho todo el día. Esos son bajes. Invente. Invente. Así le tiene que decir a Marcimino. Sí. ¿Es la palabra de Maximino? Sí. 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 Ok. Maximino tiene sí. Y su papá tiene un ¡Uh! Today we are probably wrapping up the kitchen. So we're putting the mud plaster all around the bamboo. It's a little bit difficult we found to put the mud plaster on the bottom of the shelving and the counters. It's falling on us. We've tried different mixtures. So we'll have to think of another solution for that. But that's what we're doing today. And we have the floors getting put in as well. So this is the side of the kitchen where the island will be, that floor is getting put in, and we also have the floors on the um, open seating area on the other side of the big room getting put in today. It's a nice sunny day. It's June, usually it's raining by now, but we've been fortunate to have a couple um, weeks of sun gifted to us to keep working this uh, mud plaster. So this is the sink space. We have the bottom level done. We put a couple holes in going towards the bottom where we'll have the, um, the salida for the tubes, where the tubes will go out the water and then where the water will come in, in the center. Um, we're gonna have mud plaster on this side and then on the back side as well. So this will be a built-in sink made of earth. We're going to use a lime plaster Tadillac technique um, in order to waterproof it so you can use this earthen sink just like you would a normal sink and you never have to worry about uh, mold or cracking anything like that because this this earth is really really good for um, holding up well and curing without cracks. Yesterday I finished putting in all of the shelving so I have two shelves here and Today we're just working on plastering it. We're starting from the bottom, building up these little walls first, and then after that, then we're working on the top, trying to get it as best as we can to cover the bottom. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'll have to maybe put some wood, maybe nail some planks of wood underneath the bottom to kind of um, protect the bamboo. I'm not sure yet, but we'll have to see. This is just seven in the morning, so got a lot more work to do and uh, prepared to get covered in mud today. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Ini tilu. Hai. Hai. Pensionado. Oh, ¿Cómo está pensionado? Here's the kitchen so far. Spent a couple hours. They're already starting on the floor. We have the sink done. This little design in the middle. We've left a little tube for the water to come in and tubes for the water to go out. We've got our little trees here. Here we have the wooden shelves. We decided to not to put the bamboo here a little bit closer and just pack it in on top and only just put a little bit of the very wet mud on the bottom, try and slide it without getting too many slivers. I already have some. Um, but if you just slide a, a wet mix without any bamboo or without any hay, then it sticks a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see, but we just have a little bit left. Probably gonna finish this part right now and then um, we'll have to mix some more. So I first wet the floor because the floor was dry. So in order to get it to stick and not crack in between your new wall and the borrow, you want to wet the floor really well. Wet it several times until water is just beating on it. Then you know that it is wet enough and ready to accept more barro on top of it. This is the kind of mixture that you want. Lots, lots, lots of hay. Lots of hay that's strung in there, so it wraps around the bamboo and it holds up well, doesn't fall apart. So you want to make sure that you mix it very well and you have a homogenous mixture. Once I have the base, then I can start wrapping around each bamboo like this, slapping it down so that it blends with the bottle or the tab that I have below it. And that's the process. Oh, that's a good idea. 